today we are going to study single phase fully controlled rectifier or you can call it as a full converter all right here as on the experimental kit you can see you have here four thyristors t1 t2 t3 and t4 a single phase fully controlled converter consists of four thyristors okay these are the four thyristors this g1 g2 g3 and the g4 are the respective gate terminals of each thyristors now these gate terminals will be provided a supply by your triggering circuit here you can see this g1 shall be connected to g1 with the wire i will show you how we are going to connect it here this is your g1 connected to g1 next is your g2 which will be connected to g2 of thyristor t2 next is g3 connected to the gate of thyristor t3 and next we have g4 to g4 connection all right we have made this connection and we are going to study the single phase fully controlled rectifier using r load and we are going to use again a lamp as your resistive load here we are going to use a dmm to measure the voltage the setting of the dmm has to be done to dc volt this this is your dc volt why because this converter converts your ac input to a dc output and this waveform we shall observe on our cro presently no waveform can be seen now We shall connect this DMM over here. First, we shall use two probes. This is first, this is the second one, and to these two, I shall connect my crocodile tips just a minute these are my crocodile clips as you can see these clips i shall be connecting all right now keep them away from each other yeah, right and now i shall connect my dmm here one terminal here and the other terminal is set over here all right this is my experimental setup and now by wearing this firing angle i can check out my waveform this is the waveform of a single phase fully controlled converter with r load we are, that is your resistive load and we have used lamp as our resistive load all right here check out the settings you are going to get a dc output i have set it to dc here i have used channel one i have connected my cro probe to channel one so i have done a setting to channel one over here all right you can check it out okay now now what we are going to do by using this knob we are bearing the firing angle and accordingly we are going to see our waveforms and through the dmm we are going to measure our dc output voltage all right now my experiment is single phase fully controlled rectifier okay now as you can see it has four thyristors as i've already shown through the kit one two three so three and four and connected to ac input giving me the dc output so this is my input this way 
all right and this is my output waveform as i have already seen in the cro start point end point 360 degree one sinusoidal wave is of 360 degree start point end point coincides with this wave so it will be again 360 degree in case of single phase fully controlled uh, ac voltage single phase ac voltage regulator i have already told you how we are measuring the uh, firing angle with the help of the cro because here let me draw the observation table this is my observation table it consists of serial number voltage and firing angle we represent firing angle by alpha okay this is my firing angle now first one the voltage check out here it is 15 volt dc 15 now now here i want how much is my firing angle okay using these uh, buttons on the CRO you can adjust the position etc now see here and tell you check this out okay you can see here a delay around a delay and then again it is following a sinusoidal wave all right wait this is delay then a sinusoidal then again delay and then again it is following the sine wave all right so this is my waveform exactly which i have shown and this will be delay around a delay and this round over here so this is how much my waveform is now let me check out the number of boxes one two three four five six six point how much two why two i have already explained still i will tell you see here this is one unit with five lines and this complete unit is of one so each line will be of 0.2 therefore this becomes 6.2 units equal to 360 degree so one unit will be equal to 360 divided by how much we have 6.2 all right that is 58.06 and one unit consists of nothing but five lines this one unit consists of five lines so divide this value by five and what you get is 11.61 degree and therefore your one line will be 11.61 divided by five this has been explained earlier sorry uh, this five lines just a minute so here my five lines are equal to uh, how much 360 divided by 6.2 360 divided by 6.2 that comes out to be 58.06 degree and so one line will be 58.06 divided by 5 that is 11.61 degree so one line will be equal to 11.61 degree this i know now now to measure the firing angle i have to just what i have to do yeah sometimes see here i'm getting a bit distorted waveform now what has happened nothing has happened so not to worry we'll just set a crocodile pin properly see here there was a loose connection so if such thing happens do not panic at all it's just a mere loose connection all right okay now let me measure my firing angle it is five six seven eight just measure the number of lines one two three four five six so i'm getting five six seven eight right so eight lines i know one line value of one line 11.61 so 11.61 multiplied by 8 lines means how much? I get 92.88 degree. Second reading, just vary this. Okay. Now check.
check this out. Now once you know the one line then uh, you don't have to measure. It will always be of 11.61 okay. Now see here the number of lines. Uh, how much it is? It is 5 lines near about. Okay. It's a bit fluctuating. But then you can see it. That it is round about 5 lines. Okay. So I will multiply it. That is your 11.61 multiplied by 5. That is 58.05 degree is my answer and I get 26 as my voltage value. Now check out over here again your voltage and firing angle. Your voltage increases, firing angle reduces. They are inversely proportional. It means we are going right. Alright. I hope today's experiment is clear to all of you study the next experiment next time. Thank you and goodbye.